2003 BBC Top Gear Motoring Survey. This is the biggest survey ever undertaken into how satisfied you are with your car. How reliable it is, how good the dealer is to you, the lot. And I think we had, what, 43,000 mm -hmm. responses to this. Yep. And there are 137 cars in it, and I'd just like to point out that the Subaru Legacy, the old one admittedly, came 10th. Which well, is very good. It's very good, but it's not surprising. What is surprising is the car that came first out of all 137. Not the, the car... Lexus. No, Lexus not always Lexus. win. Not this time, because it is the Jaguar XJ. There's one over there. That's incredible. And it didn't just do well. It did astonishingly well. It got the maximum five points in nearly everything, apart from practicality, I think, and it got four in that four. anyway. So that's brilliant. One thing even more amazing than that, though, OK? Anyone want to hazard a guess at what came last? The least reliable, nastiest car where the dealers really hate you. Want to hazard a guess? Vauxhall. Vauxhall, no, completely wrong. It is the Volkswagen Charan. The horrible people carry it. If only everything in life was reliable as a Volkswagen, you'd never get on another plane as long as you live. Your dog would die every 15 minutes. <laughs> this whole survey throws up some fascinating stuff, like the Porsche 911, a favourite car of mine, known for its somewhat scary handling sometimes. 96% of 911 owners in this survey claim to be absolutely satisfied with their car's handling, which is very good. It leaves 4% and they probably were entirely satisfied with the handling of their 911 right up until they hit the tree. Then they, they changed it. <laughs> yeah, but think of it this way. The people who got their bone marrow and their eyes are very satisfied with the handling <laughs> of the 911. Let's just run this one round the room. Let's just find out. What's, uh, what do you drive, sir? Uh, 355. A Ferrari. Yeah. There's an interesting statistic on Ferrari. Uh, what is it, James? 90% um, of people who said they had a Ferrari were lying. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's true. Honest, it's true. People were actually filling in the form and then we checked everything, or the company that did it, checked everything with the DVLA. 90% hadn't got a Ferrari. And you think, why did you do that? What did you think some really beautiful girl was going to... Ooh, there's a bloke here with a Ferrari. I'll ring you. It's a computer! <laughs> what have you got? Golf Mark IV. A Mark IV Golf. Now, there's an interesting one with Golf, isn't there? Yeah. Now, there's a lot of cars based around the Golf. You know, all the Seats, the Beetle, the Audi A3, the Audi TT... They're all Golfs Skodas. with different bodies and different badges, OK? Yeah. Now, which do you think is the worst of all the Golf-based cars? Skoda. It's the Golf, it's you're the right. Golf. <laughs> the worst Golf is a Golf. If you want to buy a Golf, don't get a Golf. That's get basically what we've golf. learned from this survey. <laughs> Sub beard. <laughs> Subaru and Pretzel. Uh -oh. There's always one, isn't there? <laughs> Every single week we come down here and there's a fleet of Subarus. Do you want to know where it came? Yeah, go on. What then. are we? 15th. 15th most reliable car. So not as good as the Outback. You don't, but why? Is it not reliable? <laughs> no, I keep mucking it up. You keep mucking I'm, I'm part of your group of, uh, I've messed up my car with a stupidly big exhaust as well. So. Oh, really? How big yeah. are we talking? Four inches. Do girls come running up to you? Not with no. that beard, actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, silly question. Sorry, what have you got? Uh, Passat. A Volkswagen Passat. Well, look, whoa, yeah, exactly. Mm. What a man. Where does it come? 78. 78, yeah. 78th most reliable cars. And actually, while we're on the subject of this German business, there's a chap over here I was talking to earlier. Okay? You've got a. It's old. A Mercedes. Mm -hmm. Mercedes, okay? Now, they are a byword for durability. Where's yours? Well, I'd uh, go and have a MOT today, but unfortunately, I did a pair up this morning and it broke down on the way to Tony Perslow <laughs> in Guildford. So it broke down <laughs> on the way to the dealer. This is not the first time. Mercedes, do you want to know where the best Mercedes came? The highest place Mercedes was? 57th. And if you look at the bottom 10 or 11 places, OK, the bottom 10 or 11, that's where you normally find the Alphas and the Renaults and the Citroëns. You find the M-Class, the A-Class and the C-Class all sitting in there. If you want to uh, find out how your car did, all of, these, uh, all of these results are on our website, which you can find on, on a computer, I suppose, at, um, <laughs> at work tomorrow. <laughs>
<laughs> now, earlier on, we left me dangling above a tank of water in a large Vauxhall, which, interestingly, came in 74th in the survey. I can testify, in a way, that it lets water in. Now, this theory runs that... ...of cars in the last few weeks. We haven't yeah. put them up. We're going to start with the Bentley Continental GT. Where do now, we think? Thank you all for your opinion. <laughs> it's cool. It is cool. Ha it aha. Is. However, with a proviso, as soon as you open your copy of the Sun newspaper and you see that Mr Beckham has taken delivery of his, it's on its way down. But for now, since he doesn't have one, it's a cool car. The BMW M3 CSL. You drove it. Sub uh, it what? is a fantastic car. Sub-zero. Sub-zero. Mm. What do we think? Anyone else? Sub-zero. Sub-zero. Sub All of them so wrong. totally wrong. <laughs> How can it be cool if you have to explain it's my carbon roof? That is, that is not cool. That is going to be bought by the sort of man who lies awake at night thinking of his gear shift aggression strategy for the drive to work the next day. <laughs> this is not just uncool like an M3. That is... <laughs> that is true. That's true. Now then, Ford GT, the new one. That's a chicken. Well, let me hear, let me hear some opinions on this. What do you think? Sub-zero. Sub-zero? Sub-zero. Sub-zero. No, we got one over here. Seriously uncool. Needs to be in light blue and orange. Yeah, but... I'll be <laughs> sub-zero. OK, if it were light blue and orange, you're referring to the golf colours. Absolutely. I could match your anorak levels here <laughs> easily. Thank you. Then it would be OK. It would be sub-zero. Sub-zero if you get the colours right. Good point. Anyone over here got opinions on the Ford GT? It's a very cool car. Very cool. It's very cool. Very cool. Yeah, pretty cool. Not a democracy here. You're no, cool. you're wrong! <laughs> no, th that's wrong. Now, look, if this were a Ferrari... I think we'd... Well, I'd be with you. They might disagree. But it's not a Ferrari. It's got a kind of retro something. It's like those 70s shades with the holes down the side and the big... It's cool. That is a cool car. If you were to turn up to someone's house in a red American car with white stripes down the side, they'd pretend to be out. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about the Starsky and Hutch car. This is a retro supercar. It's essentially cool. <laughs> right. <laughs> there is just one proviso on that. If I buy one, it'll be moving up a bit. Funny that. All right. Funny that. Right, here's one that I drove, and this is a truly awesome car. The Porsche 911 GT3. Fabulous! Uncool. They're it's just it. yeah, well, well, why is this uncool? It's just a 911. It's all 911s are uncool. Oh, now you're just dumb. You think? think 911s suck. I like some of what this audience is saying today. No, they're... they're in... uncool. Go uncool. somewhere else, Jeremy. Absolutely. They're all super cool. Thank you, sir. He's coming in all black rugby shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Get to the back. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, girls? Seriously cool. Seriously, seriously, seriously cool. cool. Seriously cool. How interesting that the girls are wrong and the blokes have got it wrong. Yeah, I mean, it's a brilliant car, but it's got no back seat. It's just got a load of scaffolding and roll let bars. Me put you it have to, you, to explain Let me it. put it to you this way. I can just take you out in one of these one night. Okay, you say to me, why has it got all that scaffolding in the back seat and the ironmongery? I'd have to explain that to you. How interesting do you think that'd be? Very. Oh, dear. I Go out with you. <laughs> Fine. You see, the thing is... You'd make the second date. <laughs> <laughs> Blimey! <Blimey's. laughs> can we, um, can we now... Can we move on? <laughs> can we just talk about, uh, people carriers for a while? Obviously... Oh, my word. All of them are uncool. If you buy a people... Anyone got one? You have. Basically, what you're saying about yourself, sir, is you've had your children and now you're just waiting to die. Yeah. <laughs> However, the Renault Espace here is cool. It is. It just... It's, it's what? Very, very ugly. Are you a policewoman? Yes. Ah. Yeah. So, as I was saying, it's very, very cool. Because <laughs> I can do that in here. <laughs> However, the moment you've all been waiting for, it's the new 5 Series. Right, let's just see run around the room on it. What do you reckon? Um, seriously uncool. Seriously uncool? Quite uncool. Quite uncool? Cool. Cool. Do you play golf? Yes. Do you play golf? Yes. Yep. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> this car will be bought almost entirely by people who play golf, ergo... 
Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Oh. However, this car has given the world a problem because, you see, for years, I know loads of people who've always had 5 Series BMWs, they've all looked at this and went, that is so ugly, there's no way I'm going to have one. So it leaves them a problem. What do they buy? Well, eventually, they're going to have to have something done with their teeth. And while the dentist has got his bit in their mouths, he's going to say, I've got a Saab. All dentists have Saab, OK? All, and graphic designers all have them, and all architects have them, and all Stephen Fry's have them. <laughs> and when you ask someone who's got a Saab why, you always get the same patronising smile. Like, they know something we don't, OK? And I think I've worked out what it is, OK? I think it's because they spend all day doing root canals. Then when they drive home, they think, I'm not 